Bill here. I pulled all this stuff out the other day to get a couple of photos of the boots and then I thought why not do a video while I'm at it and I can show you off all my collection. Um, what I did, I used the GoPro up close on a little uh, set of wheels to get some nice tracking shots. So here's the collection so far. The first pair I ever bought, my beautiful chestnuts followed by the blacks, the light tans, nutmeg with a comfort sole, my dark tans, the marine blues and the mid-brown oily ferns. Uh, the table wasn't quite big enough, so we had to have a second run at it. That's my second pair of nutmegs with the dynamic flex sole, the chestnut kangaroos, the bordeaux, the teal, and the magnificent cognacs. And then third time lucky, collar suede, the bone suede, chocolate suede, my black turnouts, the urban turnouts, and the beautiful Rickabies, which are my only pair of lace-ups. But I saved the best to last. There they are, my magnificent black ostrich classic craftsman. My dark tan signature craftsman. And last but not least, a pair I'll never wear, I'll keep them as new, my beautiful chestnut 90th anniversary classic craftsman. So that's my collection so far. Now, I figured I've got all the gear out, so I might as well give the boots a clean while I'm at it. Um, everyone's got a different way of cleaning their boots. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way. Whatever works for you in your boots is the way to go. Uh, for me, I'm a bit meticulous. Uh, the first thing I do when I buy a pair of boots is I go out and I get myself a pair of the premium boot trees from Trimley, great Melbourne company that I love getting behind. So I've got 22 pairs of boots now. That also means I've got 22 pairs of the premium boot trees. The benefit of having the premium boot trees is once they're in, they obviously help keep shape of the boot. If they're in for a long time, like if you're not wearing them for a while, it will prevent toe curl and the creases. Uh, but most importantly in my book, it draws out all the moisture and it smells pretty good too. So the second I get home, put them straight into the boots and look at that, it's pretty much the perfect fit. I've got a little bowl of fresh water and I get a toothbrush and I give it a good clean along the welt. The next step is a bit of RM Williams leather cleaner. Now you only want to condition your boots once every eight weeks. You don't want to get too carried away with it because it's going to clog up all the pores. So once every eight weeks. Now, in between, these boots now are as good as new. Um, all it took was a quick clean over with the toothbrush in the welt and then the leather cleaner and you don't even need to polish them. These look good as new. Now, they are due for a big uh, clean this time. So the next stage for me, after I've given them a good clean, I let them dry naturally for an hour and then I grab the conditioner. So with the conditioner, I only ever use the RM Williams stuff. I give it a good shake first and I never apply it straight onto the boot. Okay, it's straight onto a clean rag. Use the conditioner sparingly. You don't need to use too much. Probably the size of a 10 cent piece is more than enough. Just give it a little dab all over the boot and then you can slowly start to work it in. There you go, so once all the conditioner's rubbed in, I normally let the boots sit overnight, 12 hours or so, let it really soak in. I'll get up the next morning, give it a good buff off if there's any excess left on there. Uh, and then I'll let it sit for another couple of hours just to let it absorb and dry up. Now it's time for a quick polish. Last part of the process, give these boots a really good buffing off and then you're pretty well done. So there you go, they're all done and they've come up as good as new. I've got 22 pairs of boots that I need to clean so I normally have a bottle of red on standby to help me get through because it's a pretty damn big job but it's an enjoyable job and it's something I thoroughly get a kick out of doing. Um, you can trust these boots. Don't stress about it, they can get dinged and scratched and muddy and 
they come up as good as new every time. Doesn't take much. Make sure you've got the right cleaning gear. Go out, get yourself the RM Williams protector, get a brush, get the conditioner, get a whole bunch of different rags so you can get through and get it clean. The microfiber are the best. And look after your boots. If you look after the boots, they're gonna look after you.